Hey, how's it going? It's Kevin. I want to talk to a really nice reel today. This is a Hardy, vintage Hardy Perfect. It's a four inch size with a line guard. This is a pre-war reel, so pre-World War II. So going over a little bit about the dating of this reel, as you see, it's got a full length ribbed brass foot. It's got a line guard. It's got the leading finish on it. You can see quite a bit of that leading still left um, on the face plate and here on the spool side as well. The lettering on this is written in the circle, it's kind of in the, the circular fashion. It also has the size on there, it's stamped at four inch. Uh, this is the duplicated Mark II check system. It has the fat handle on it. And as I mentioned before, it's got a nice uh, silver nickel line guard on there. So to open this reel up, it's got the alternate uh, counterclockwise rotating screw set. So you pull that off. And then you go and you take the spool and the face plate, wind it the opposite way. So what you've got is an engageable spare duplicated Mark II, II check system. This reel itself has no stamping on it on the cage or on the spool, but on the actual uh, face plate here, it's got a JS for Jimmy Smith, who was one of the uh, one of the makers of Hardy Perfects uh, back in that time period. Um, this example here has really nice teeth on it, uh, no real wear to it. <clears throat> You'll see on the line guard, uh, it's got a Hardy Brothers marking on there. Only thing about this this model or only thing about this example is that the tension screw seems to be in a locked position. Um, I'm sure with a little bit of cleaning and some, some getting some of the gunk out of there, uh, that'll easily come out. But right now this uh, tension regulator knob does not work and I've not gone through and done a full cleaning on it yet. So putting that back together, take the cage, spool, and then since this is a right hand retrieve reel, you put the face plate back on and wind it as you would on the right hand retrieve. And it locks up. And as you feel, it'll start to spin the spool there as it catches. Give it one more twist. And then again, for this screw, it is the counter. So it, turning to the right is actually the loosen. Turning to the, turning to the left will tighten. Give it a little twist. And everything's tight on there. So really nice example of a pre-war four inch Hardy Perfect vintage reel. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to my channel, click like down below, or check out some of these other videos I have on vintage Hardy reels, fly tying, or fly fishing in general. Thanks, have a good one.